again, it's a cautionary tale because the riptides are too forceful. We were just on the edge, feet in, ankles in, and that joint came in and grabbed me. It was like, come on girl, Poseidon was coming for me. So now my whole little sundress is soaked up to here. Panties, bra, all of it. And Rosalind sacrificed her shoes to the sea. It almost got our phones. Yeah, it did. I mean, the, the sea was like, F y'all, couch. <laughs> F your couch, your memories, your mama, all of them. <laughs> we, we coming for everything today. Yes, so I'm gonna sit here and recover. I'm gonna take this L in peace. Cause y'all know what this janky need, that was very scary <laughs> to fall down at the water's edge. So I still look good though. Yeah, you do. This is a falling down <laughs> look of defeat. <laughs> at least my bow is not wet. This is the only thing that didn't get wet. <laughs> Oh, foolishness in Mexico. So the hunt is on for my companion's other shoe that the ocean decided to snatch. <laughs> That's why you have to bring multiple pairs of shoes. Don't let nobody tell you to pack light. Bring mo most of what you need because you just never freaking know. And this guy has been swimming the whole time. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Is that him? He's been killing it this whole time. Back and forth, back and forth. I don't know, it's like the 10th lap for just me sitting here. And then there's people paddle boarding, boating. I think I saw somebody on like, what do you call those things? I don't know why the word escapes me. Water, jet skis, jet skis, I know words. And then there's a cruise ship right there. We saw about three cruise ships since we've been here. Welcome to my Cabo San Lucas, Mexico vlog. This is number three in the series. It's the day at the beach edition. Welcome, I'm Latrice Kelly. Thank you for tuning in to the girls trip footage, the hashtag momcation, relaxcation, Cabo booties. We deserve, yes, it's gonna be a little bit of all that y'all. So please enjoy some of our highlights. We're showing you how close Hotel Rio Palace is to the beach and some of the other fun activities you can do on the resort, outside of the resort. It's just a little bit of everything in this doggone um, vlog, y'all. I hope you enjoy it. Dip they told. Yeah. Um, to and look at that. I'm recording that. Ah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead, go down. This vlog is also going to feature some reviews as far as our thoughts on the hotel, accommodations, amenities, and entertainment options, as well as food. But before we get into all that, get into this impromptu photo shoot that I did as I arrived to the pool area that day. Shout out to Danielle, the Cabo booty, for getting me in all my glory on the balcony. This is so peaceful out here. Oh. Hi! Oh. 
they never want to work for us these automatic things so we just gonna go old school I need whatever. look at that nanny y'all let's get into it most people are foodies let's face it you look for the stuff to taste delicious when you go on vacation this is very much resort food what i mean by that it was adequate you had plenty of choices you had so many options you had the ability to get classic mexican cuisine you could try other cuisines there was indian food on a the buffet they had things for vegetarians they had a variety of things you can get fresh like smoothies made every morning you also could get like a crepe or an omelet made at the omelet station. So I think it was it was given what it needed to give. You got full, they had seafood, they had mussels, mostly every day. It's Mexico. You should always have seafood, especially when you're staying so close to an oceanside resort. Okay, that brownie was not giving because it was very much dry and hard. I guess it been sitting for a while in the dessert cafe. And there's a coffee bar. There was a coffee bar in our hotel. I love that part. And that it overlooked the ocean. And you can just have ice cream after you get COVID tested to soothe your sensitive feelings. <laughs> and of course, we have buku, slushy drinks, and the alcoholic grown-up beverages throughout the resort. Because, hey, all-inclusive means all-inclusive, baby. Drinks are included. Trust that. Remember what I said about the seafood? Baby. These scallops. Girl. These deep fried scallops. They went hard in the paint. It was my favorite thing I ate the whole time I was there. Okay, rant over. Back into the review of the resort as far as accommodations go. We were in a junior suite with a balcony, partial view of the ocean, double beds. There's a spa, gym, tennis court, volleyball, music and entertainment options on the property. And then water park, swim out bar, several restaurants, many different types. We didn't get to get the, the sushi, y'all. It was a sushi restaurant and an Indian restaurant. Whew, it was more than we can take in. I give it a four out of five stars for the Rio Palace Cabo San Lucas Hotel. Lastly, get yourself a photo session set up with the photography on the property. Look how beautiful my cousin was captured, y'all. She slayed. About to get COVID tested for the first time ever, ever, okay? Ever, ever, so I can get back home. All right. That's enough, what's that doing? I said, no, that's enough. <laughs> and I said, what? I didn't pray. 
I held it in, y'all. That was a little bit of wa water. I didn't like that. <laughs> didn't feel That's good. my first time ever. <laughs> He, I was like this. The more he was sticking it out, I was going way. That's, I was like, that's I'm enough. Going way, way back in the chair. Talk to her. She's not happy. Thoughts? <laughs> Concerns? I was trying to back away. I think your feet back away so I was. <laughs> okay. We out here. We, we did survived. it. We gonna get home though. Hmm. All right, we're headed out to our dinner sunset cruise for our last night in Cabo, the ladies in black. We headed off the property. This is me marching down this very, 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 very steep incline because the properties do not allow ride share on the hotel resorts property. You can only use taxis and sometimes according to the locals, the taxis is not what you wanna use. So we had to march it on down. That's me fussing and complaining the whole way about this hike down the hill. So I would say that's the only downside of this resort, okay? And I think the other thing was kind of funny about the resort, the distance to the elevators were kind of far. The proximity to dining options from your room and a pool is a little bit of a hike. But anyway, you don't wanna hear me complaining. Let's get it ready to get in line and go take care of seeing the last beautiful part of Cabo, which is the sunset. It just melted our hearts. I feel like it was like one of the major, major, major highlights of this trip. Get into the peacefulness and the relaxation of it all. All right, we about to board the cruise. The sunset cruise. Is she close? Are these one? The distinctive landmark of Cabo San Lucas is El Arco, also known as the Arch. It's a rock formation that erupts from the sea at the tip of the Baja Peninsula, where the Pacific Ocean meets the Sea of Cortez. Also known as Land's End, El Arco is a popular tourist attraction and a central focus of countless vacation photos. So when in Cabo, do as what the Cabo tourists do and take lots of pictures at the Arch.
This our last day, Cabo. We gotta film an outro. Sad. I don't wanna go home. It's sad, but true. Can we move out here forever? We got this last Did you get the ocean view right here? I got a little bit. Of oh, there it is. Y'all. We just captured I this just moment. wanna stay. That don't happens. let me leave. Don't let me leave you with you. Yes. So, as I get ready to journey out of here, I thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy some of my highlights from my hashtag momcation, hashtag girls trip, hashtag I deserve. Made myself a couple quick notes that I wanted to say. Number one, these Mexican moths are trying to kill us. They're in every freaking hallway, quarter. I felt like it was like, the shining up in here in this hotel while it's very beautiful resort these doggone moths was like the size of bats um the other part is do what you deserve okay pardon the eyebrows i look a hot mess but cabo did his number on me so it is what it is i got a little bit more richness to this mocha this melanin so do what you deserve i got covid tested to get out of the country a-okay in that category. It wasn't that bad. It was my first time. That's what she said. And as I always say, treat yourself. Don't think travel is out of your reach, your budget, your lifestyle. I used to cheat myself out of these experiences. I'm not doing that anymore because again, I deserve. And lastly, Cabo worked this magic on me. I'm Latrice Kelly. Let me go put on some jeans and return back to my horrible life in Chicago of 54 degrees, leaving the balmy and wonderful 84 and sunny every single day that we were here. Thanks so much for watching this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe below. And uh, 